Hi. I want to take just a few minutes to talk about some of the parameters of self-actualization. Uh, years ago, I was teaching a relationship training in Washington, D.C., actually Alexandria, Virginia, which is near Washington, D.C. A friend of mine, Christos, had a practice there, worked in one of those older office buildings that are just magnificent in their magnificence. Um, and she, uh, uh, we did a relationship training. There was a young lady in the class who was not in a relationship, and I said to her on, on what do you want to create out of this weekend uh, on Saturday morning? And she said, I want to create the state of self-actualization. I said, first of all, this is relationship training, and that may or may not happen during this training. I said, it's, my self-actualization won't be up for another couple of months, and it's a longer course, more expensive, uh, but I'll see if we can do that with you this weekend. So we started the course, and... Uh, I told her that getting to self-actualization was not going to be like she thought it was. And she said, of course not. It can't be. And I said, why would somebody so young be curious about self-actualization? And she said, I did my paper on it, my college paper, and I know all the parameters of it. She said, but I can't get there. I can't experience it. So I told her that getting there was going to be tough. It wasn't going to be how she thought it was. Uh, we had to pick through the mind and kind of unravel the mind. And so on Saturday night, I was going out of the training room, out of the office, and I turned to my left and looked to my right, and she was down there, and she was leaving, and she was mad as a wet hen, as they say. She was furious. And I knew if I walked over to her and said, everything's going to be okay, or if I gave her one of those unconditional love hugs, you know, oh, I love you so much. But I looked at her, and I told her the truth. I said, they didn't lie to you about me, did they? And she turned to my assistant, who was standing with her, and she said, such an asshole. Okay? Because when you push into the world of the mind, it's a little creepy in there. and It's one of the things I do extremely well if I do say so myself. On Sunday night, right, we're, we've taken a break and I'm starting the class. What I say to people is what we do in the weekend is we go through a bunch of data and then on Sunday night, we go through, on, and your class actually starts on Sunday night or Monday morning, depending on how late the class runs. And we took a break, and this gal came back in from the restroom, and I looked at her, and I could see that she was in a higher state of awareness. And I said, things are different right now. And she said, I just got back from the restroom, and she said, I can't tell whether my feet are sinking into the floor or whether the floor is coming up to meet my feet. Now, again, it was one of those older buildings with cement floors with so there's no way that except that she had gone to the experience of self-actualization the experience of quantum physics the, where everything that is solid is not solid where things are malleable where there's space where the mall in be, the, the biggest thing in anything is the space in between it but she went there and she absolutely actually experienced her own self-actualization and like I said it was not easy getting there it's not how what she expected but we did it. www.micpeakperformance.com. Have a great Christmas or holiday season, however you do it.